This is the finals of the U.S. Olympic track and field trials for the 110 meter hurdles. And this is the favorite Grant Holloway preparing to enter the stage where he's expected to deliver another stellar performance. He won the silver medal in, at the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo three years ago. And since then, he's been preparing for a comeback and win the gold. And this is where it all begins. To book a berth to Paris, where he wants to make up for what got away from him in Tokyo. He has close oh, history on this track. He ran the second fastest time ever three years ago at the Olympic trials. And four of his five best performances of all time have all come right here at Hayward Field. The world record, by the way, 1280. Three spots on the line to go to France. Who's going to get them? And in this thrilling conclusion, in the men's 110 meter hurdles final, we saw Grant Holloway, as expected, deliver a spectacular performance. He demonstrated both power, finesse, crossed the finish line in a remarkable time of 12.86 seconds, securing his place on the Olympic team. The crowd, as you can hear, erupted in cheers as he cemented his status as one of the top hurdlers in the world, setting the stage for an exciting Olympic showdown. And adding to this excitement are the two other contenders who also finished under 13 seconds. Their impressive times underscored the high level of competition and set the stage for a captivating Olympic showdown. And we may see three U.S. men finish on the top three. We'll see them all in Paris. So here's another look at the finish. Grant Holloway leaning hard. But look at Crittenden right there. And the evergreen and ever-present Roberts keeps Tinch and Scott off of the team. So let's look again at Grant Holloway. He didn't get away the way he usually does. Usually he has more of a cushion early. So he had to work for it. He hit one of these hurdles here in the middle. And I thought, oh, oh. But he recovered. Yeah, he hit that one and then recovered. And he fought for this over the last two hurdles to get this world lead and to run his second fastest time ever. Remember, the world record is 1280. If it's that far away, he's not that far away. And one perfect probably today is that that's a perfect win behind him, plus 2.0. So he was getting pushed into these. Look, the women, the U.S. women swept the hurdles. And no doubt Holloway was in control from beginning to end. These three sub-13 guys, and in fact, that's the first time in history that any race has had three sub-13 hurdlers. They are ready for Paris. And for two of the three to run personal best to go to the... And with Holloway capturing the new world lead time, I can only imagine what he can accomplish at the Olympics. 